What's good, YouTube? So today, we're going to get started on cleaning up some of these two-stroke parts. I need to get this motor cleaned up, prepped. I don't know whether I'm going to paint it or whatnot before I put it on or finalize it, but I definitely need to clean it up. I got a new rear tail light section as well because I'm going to try and get my... uh signals back going I ain't gonna really have this one too stunnish like i will get a bar made on it eventually but i'm gonna try and get all my tail lights and uh headlight tail lights turn signals horn the necessities in order to uh have it tagged this time gonna be retiring my old floorboard which is cracked held together by i don't know wait two three four five six seven eight zip ties screws it's it's cracked I ended up getting a better one for the bike so i'm gonna clean it up as well and get this prep to go on the frame Yeah, I'm about to saturate all of this. As you can see, it's going to be a whole lot of scrubbing. Sheesh. I guess this is part of a two-stroke motor thing. I guess it's dealing with more oil down here than what a GY6 would. But yeah, I'm going to cut y'all back on when I actually get somewhere. All right, so I moved out the sun. <laughs> I noticed something when turning the motor over it was like bubbling in that area down by the uh where the head meets the block so I know for a fact I think man honestly since I'm gonna have to helicoil it I may just go ahead and big bore it while I'm down there stick a little 70cc on it and grab a whole new exhaust but Anyways, yeah, I'm gonna get back to cleaning all this mess up. It's, it's just, ain't no telling where this motor was, but I'm, I'm gonna get it cleaned up. All right, I've been scrubbing forever on all this stuff. The motor came out real good, though. Don't worry, I plugged it up and everything, and I'm about to get to drying it down. But the motor looks a billion times better. I still got a couple of spots, like if I pull out the uh, starter, I can scrub in there a little bit more. But overall, I'm happy with it. It looks so much damn better. And now I'm about to clean out the rest of these parts. Gotta hold this down. Don't move. Can I flip it? A lot of this stuff has sat in the basement and yeah, it wasn't 
looking to too shabby to just bring straight into my daggone house in order to put on the bike. This is kind of hard to film with one hand. I want y'all to know that. All right. I wonder if I could hit that one little. And I got it. That look like it's gonna be it, y'all. I can dry this stuff off and get it installed on the bike. Another thing I'm gonna handle too, if y'all remember me saying from the first video where I introduced the motor, I'm taking this thing and I'm using straight premix. I'm not gonna rely on this because I mean, you can see the condition of this. Just pulling it out. This is your oil pump, like some way in some way out it flows oil into the carb into the motor I'm, I'm not gonna trust this i'm just gonna run my own so i'm about to bust that gear off real quick and see how i can snip that in all right now that i'm done i done took the gear off the oil pump which means that part i sit back inside the motor the o-ring right there is gonna seal against the motor and this is going to be dull and void. It won't be doing anything. I actually could have left the hoses off because they won't even be turning pressure throughout the pump anymore. But I don't know. It just sort of cleaned up the look to me, I guess. I might have slapped this back on the motor and get everything back in the house, I guess. the oil pump you'll be fine this actually might help it run a little bit better less strain on the motor bro that's how you bring an exhaust back to life yes that might actually look like something I want to put on the bike now that look real good now